What's up, y'all? It's Kamari Star, and you already know I'm about to tell y'all a crazy, a very, very, very crazy story. But before we get into that, I need y'all to subscribe right now. Almost to 500 subs. If you could do that for me, that would mean a lot. Almost there. Let's get into the story. Okay, so before I get into the actual altercation part i have to give y'all a little bit of background on me and the dude and the relationships it would just make more sense during the story i don't want to use the real name so we're gonna use some code names up in here so i'm gonna call the dude i'm talking about baloney <laughs> and i'm gonna call the girl that i'm talking about monthly <laughs> baloney was my first love first attachment whatever you want to call it we were together in high school and we was in one of those relationships where it was like off and on a lot. We'll get into it, break up, get into it, break up. I hate you, I love you. Kind of toxic, but not really. We were like best friends though. Like I will say that. Throughout the years, we kind of just hit each other up. Like, how are you, this and that. If we link, you already know what's up. Now that y'all have that background, I'm gonna fast forward to a winter that we spent together. Like I said, we were kind of best friends. He would tell me a lot about him and his um, girlfriend at the time, monthly. Yeah, they was getting to it a lot. He was thinking about breaking up with her and da da da. And I think I was in college at this time or I don't know where I was, but and mind you, they lived together. So he was like, yeah, it's not really working out, blah, blah, blah. So I come into town and I'm, I'm on my own wave. He's on his own wave, but we always kind of had that connection, you know? Or every time we hung out together, we always get our feelings back. The type of person I am, I've never cheated on anybody in my entire life. That's just the type of person I am. I'm just a different breed. So he knows that and he knows that about me. So I was like, yeah, whatever y'all got going on, just make sure that's over before you mess with me because I'm not trying to be in none of that. You know what I mean? He supposedly broke up with monthly, right? And everything's cool. We're chilling. I'm not talking to none of the people I was talking to. None of that. We're hanging out at his apartment. We driving around, holding hands while he's driving. Oh, oh, my first love. Oh, I'm thinking shit's sweet. <laughs> Fast forward to altercation night. And we take a picture in the mirror and I posted it on my Instagram story. Monthly's friend seen it and she messaged me and she was like, you know Monthly and Baloney? <laughs> I know these names are fried, but I picked them for a reason. But anyways, she was like, yeah, you know, they just moved out like not too long ago and da da da. And Baloney was telling me she moved out like weeks and weeks ago. So I'm just like, okay, which one is it? The girl I was talking to, she's like, yeah, you should just delete it because he's making you look stupid and da 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 da. She was just saying a lot of stuff. So... I checked her and that was over. She was saying, oh yeah, monthly, said she's gonna pull up and this, this, and this. Mind you, this young lady was not the type to get into an altercation, especially with me. She didn't know me that well, but um, Baloney, I'm pretty sure he told her some story. So she kind of knew of me, but not really me. So I check her, that's over. And then I check Baloney. I'm like, so if y'all broke up so long ago, why is she so upset? Like, why is she making it a big deal? As we was connecting, getting back on our own wave, I noticed like she would keep blowing him up and blowing him up. It wouldn't make sense to me because I'm like, why isn't she blocked? Like it doesn't make sense. But I'm not the type of girl to be like, block her and da 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 da. I'm not insecure. Like I don't do stuff like that. What I need to know, I'm gonna find out, period. And that's exactly what happened. Continuing on, she's saying all this stuff. She's gonna pull up and whatever. And I haven't talked to her still at this point. I think we was out when all this was happening and we get back to his house. He's looking around, looking to see if she's there. I don't know, whatever. And we chill for a little bit. And then he looks at his phone. He's like, okay, he's like, stay here. I'm gonna be right back. And I'm not trying to jump to conclusions. I feel like if she was out there, he would have been like, she's out there. I kind of had it in my mind, but I'm just like, okay, let me just be a young adult. Let me let them handle their issue. It's not a big deal, whatever. I'm on my social media looking. I go to my DMs on Instagram and I see this request. I open this request. <laughs> <laughs> I opened the request and monthly's like cussing me out. Girl, you trifling. How you gonna steal somebody else's man? You always trying to steal somebody else's man. Da 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 da. I'm like, girl, first of all, the first, first, first thing I said was, how am I gonna steal your man if he's not yours? Like, that was that was just real confusing to me at that point. She was like, yeah, something. I can't remember everything that happened, y'all. I'm giving y'all the gist of what happened. I don't remember every single detail. This happened like two years ago. I don't do all that talking. She's running at her mouth, telling, saying this and this, calling me out my name, all this stuff. I'm like, you can pull up because clearly you know where I'm at. I'm at your man's house. <laughs> Y'all, I'm petty. I'm a Gemini. But I promise you, he told me they broke up. So whatever. 
and then I'm getting kind of hot I'm getting real mad because it's like you're not about to just diss me and then there's not going to be any consequences I'm getting mad I'm like wait and then he's taking too long so I'm like I know she not out there like, I really know she not out there I'm, I'm thinking she out there but I'm like I really hope she's not out there so it got to the point where I had to see so I walk out and his roommates are in the kitchen I'm like is he still outside and they're like uh i'm like bingo got him i run outside i think she was pushing him and stuff and she was crying and i was just like i'm a what i'm a what i'm a what when i get mad i don't really be thinking like that my intention wasn't to fight her but i was just heated because it's like why are you coming at me and you don't even know the whole story like what what do you even mean like when you address me address me as an adult when you address me address me with some common sense because i'm not your average typical person I'm getting all mad over again. This is in the past, y'all. I'm just telling y'all a story. I run out there. I'm like, I'm a what? I'm a what? She's like, you're trifling. You're she was like really, really upset. And honestly, that kind of got to me a little bit because like I've been heartbroken before. You know what I mean? I was just like, damn, like it's, it was really that serious because I didn't think it was that serious. Like he told me there was been planning on breaking up, been X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, okay. I really didn't think it was that serious until I seen her crying. But knowing me, I'm a Gemini. I'm still heated. So I'm like, I'm a what? I'm a what? You're and she's like, you're trifling. I'm like, how? How am I trifling? And so his roommates come outside and then they grab me, try to take me back in the house. I need all the details. Like, explain to me why. I didn't understand why she kept saying that, to be honest. I really didn't. Why would that thought come across your mind if something else wasn't going on? That happens. And then I go back in the house. She leaves or whatever. And Baloney, I could tell he was kind of mad at me or like he was just... I think it was just a lot for him having that situation, holding her back because he didn't want me to beat her ass. He comes back in the house, everything chills down. I show him the DMs. I'm like, she DM me. Like, I didn't mean to like come out there like that. But honestly, I don't care because don't DM me talking all that smack and then I'm in your face and you want to hide behind baloney. Like, that was crazy to me. And that goes for anybody. Like, it really doesn't matter. I'm not the type of girl to fight over a boy. It wasn't even about that at the point. She was disrespecting me. And I don't, I don't deal with disrespect like that. I really don't. And I wasn't going to hit her. I just wanted to know what she was talking about. <laughs> That's really... I wasn't going to hit her. And she's still talking to me on the text. And you was just here. Like, what do you mean? She calls Baloney's phone. And I'm like, hello? And she was like, is Baloney there? Her whole tone was different. I'm like, yeah, he right here. What's up? <laughs> we was kind of just talking, like, hashing out. I'm like, yeah, you don't really know me like that so on behalf of me i was like forget whatever y'all got going on on behalf of me um we're not together we're not you know i'm not really explaining myself but i'm just like letting her know what's up squash it not really but like it's kind of it's just over and dealt with i'm not gonna lie i wasn't the best in this situation ship but i've never cheated on anybody and i've never gave anybody like false hope if i'm with you and i'm telling you this is what i want to do and this is what i want to be i'm gonna own up to that like if i tell you this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm trying to do. I'm going to continue to do that. Yeah, things change, but at the end of the day, I always have the same mindset. As this stuff was going on, it kind of cleared over, but then I was just like, I kind of felt some type of way after that happened. He's like, oh, I'm not going to get back with her. We're over. She's too immature. She's this. She's that. I don't want her. Even if you do leave, even if we're not together, I'm not going to be with her. I have a sixth sense for BS. As the days has gone by, I wasn't really like messing with him like that. Really felt like he felt some type of way that I didn't want to be in a relationship, but it's just like, you got to build that back up. Like he wasn't getting that. We got to do it differently. We just wasn't seeing eye to eye. And this is the part that really blew me off. We had a little fight like over text or whatever. He misunderstood something that I said. I'm not going to say what I said, but he misunderstood it. Y'all, the next day, tell me why. He was with her and they had got back together. I promise you, I knew it was going to happen. That's why I was kind of like distancing myself anyway. For you to really do that to me, clearly you don't know who I am. Clearly you don't. It's like, nah, it's like, nah. But um, that's pretty much the end of the story. I was stupid. She was stupid. <laughs> we were stupid together and he was dumb. I'm not telling this story to like bash anybody or anything like that. I'm just telling it for y'all entertainment. I don't have a problem with either one of them. As a matter of fact, monthly, she apologized to me not too long ago. If the apology was genuine, um, I really messed with that. That situation kind of took me out of my character. I just want to tell this story because I know a lot of women ignore their intuition. I'm just telling you like, as women, our intuition is very, very strong. If you lie about something, or if you do something that's not right, it's gonna come to light eventually. Me and him, we was, like we cool, you know what I mean? Like I always have love for him. If you love somebody, 
the love will never go away because it's like a memory in your heart it doesn't go away it just fades don't ignore your moral codes for a dude especially if he's not treating you right or if you know he's on some shady stuff don't do that you're gonna regret it like i really regret that whole situation i should have just stayed by myself and then i went through another situation after that but that'll be another story time that's about a latino and you know they loco <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe please subscribe i'm almost to 500k almost I said 500k <laughs> girl calm your ass down i'm almost to 500 subscribers see i'm thinking big already i'll see you guys in the next video